Now, your storm station forecast with meteorologist Marissa Nuso. Good morning. We are looking at a very obvious humid haze across Baton Rouge today. I've been checking visibility and there's no fog, so it's just some low level cloud cover for us this morning. 76 degrees in Baton Rouge. Here's my fur caster today. In my notes, I wrote Ava hates wet paws, so she must not really like rainy days, but she's helping me out anyways, expecting to see a lot. Lots of rain on the board today, so yellow pause as your heads up that it's going to rain today. And some people are actually under a flood watch, so thanks, Ava, for helping me out. Flood watch parishes and counties are all north of Baton Rouge, including Point Capee Parish and all of the bordering parishes to Mississippi, as well as those Mississippi counties. What that means is that is the earliest possible heads up that the Weather Service can give you that you may be more susceptible to flooding as rain rolls through today. So we know the drill. Turn your weather alerts on. Make sure you are ready for anything. Some of these spots already starting to see a little bit of rain, even a quick little downpour just moving north of St. Francisville here. So we'll keep a close eye on that. This will be our first round of rain today as that makes its way from west to east. Future cast will show that making it into Baton Rouge a little closer to 10 o'clock this morning. And then once the showers start, they are just on and off through the rest of the day. 7 o'clock, we start to see things really lightening up, but just like yesterday, make sure you're ready for rain at pretty much any time. Almost a guarantee that everybody gets a shower through the day today. Rainfall totals for the rest of the week are still expected to be rather high, three to five inches, but now starting to notice that those higher totals closer to this orange color are a little bit further to the south. So all of this will be manageable if it comes in over seven days. If any of it comes in in a short amount of time, can definitely overwhelm the drainage system. So continue to stay weather aware and stay connected to the storm station. We'll keep you ahead of the storms. And of course, I'll let you know if there are any warnings out there. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. We'll get another live check of your radar coming up in 10.